Thank you, Alabag. How are you? I am good. I hear Louis has been keeping himself busy. He certainly has. I keep telling him, planning a wedding is a full-time job. I'm just so happy for him and Madeline. Actually, I was referring to this new okra business he's got with me one. Oh, that. I always thought it was such a waste to throw out those ground-up soybeans. It's a great idea for them to make use of them. Ah, that son of mine and his flights of fancy. I thought he seemed quite keen on it. Knowing my Louis, it's just a matter of time before he gets tired of it and moves on to something else. You know him? Oh, slap in again, I see. You must have a very understanding boss. Actually, I'm usually the first in the office. Always been. Only because he insists on skipping the most important meal of the day. You know, Matthew, if I didn't know any better, I would think that you were avoiding us. Well, I'm sure he's not Jessica. Is he? Of course not, Dad. I no reason to whatsoever. But I do have to get to work. I'm hosting a high tea this afternoon. Ordinarily, I would say that since Yoke is not around, it would be good if you could represent her. Ordinarily? But I'm sure that you have much better things to do than to oblige your mother-in-law. Sorry, Mum. Unfortunately, I was planning See? to... I told you he wouldn't come. Have a good day at work, Matthew. Morning, Uncle Zarif! You're volunteering? Don't you have exams or something? YOLO, am I right? I need a break from studying anyway. And I'm glad my patient and I had the most amazing conversation. Technically, it's not your patient. You know what I mean. We connected. And I really feel I can make a difference. Studying can make a big difference when it comes to your exams. Anyway, I gotta go. See you. Hey, still on for Iftar tonight? Of course. Sorry, things have been so crazy on my end lately. Especially with Hila. It's okay, I understand. At least with Raya coming up, hopefully we'll get to spend even more time together. After all, it's the time for Sila to Rahim. Of course. Uh, Louise asked me to focus on three items. Um, okara tempe, okara meatballs, okara... One more... Uh, what was it? Uh? Uh, my memories... Oh, this is so kuya. This one, otak. <laughs> See? How terrible. Uh, I brought this here for you to try and I forgot about it. <laughs> it's like that. Sometimes uh, I also find it easy to forget things uh, if I don't write down. Good thing Ella taught me how to save it uh, in my handphone. <laughs> Maybe I should really do the same thing. <laughs> Miwan, uh, I want to ask you, other than your family, uh, nobody knows about Ella's pregnancy, is it? No, especially not those Shelleys. No wonder. I always see her like so self-conscious like that uh, when they are around. Always adjusting her apron here and there. Yeah, she doesn't want them to know. How to hide? That's why uh, I a bit regret joining Louise in the everyday soy business. It will be harder for Ella. Don't worry. Louis is different from the rest of them. Yeah. I hope so. Uh. Louis told me uh, they were very close when they were young. Louis' business? Um, yes, she, Adina has been quite involved. I know she spent quite a long time to get the recipe right, just in time for the tasting. So there was a tasting already? Uh, yes. Even Derek Shelley was there to give his feedback. I heard he was quite harsh. How did he take it? It must be discouraging. Well, you know how he is. For Mr. Shelley, meat must be meat. Still, it wouldn't hurt for him to try and be supportive. Well, if you want to be in f &B, it's part and parcel of the process. Are you feeling okay? Just uh, a little tired, I guess. I tell you what, uh, why don't you take a couple of hours off? Thanks. I don't understand why this is wrong. Okay, let's see. The monkey blank up the tree. You're supposed to choose climb or climbs. And you put climb, which is wrong. It should be climbs. Why? 
The monkey climbs up the tree. That's the correct one. But why? Because the monkey climbed up the tree sounds wrong. Sounds okay to me. Look, just trust me, okay? It's wrong. But you can't even explain why. Whoa! Oh, one more towel and we've had it. Sorry, not possible. Because you already knew which one you are calling. So that's why we will hold on to it. Uh, what's going on? You know why? You are too focused on your own hand already. Don't be such a one-track mind. That's why playing mahjong is good for the mental. Hmm. Since when did you guys become mahjong kakis? Also, when you get better, you can trick people. Can I have some answers? If you come and visit your father more often, you don't have to ask. Okay, pay up. Um, I did the sums. The margins are looking pretty bleak. You sure you calculate correct or not? How come your suppliers are so expensive? That's based on the quotes I got. You should check with us first. We both have so many contacts in F&B. Confirm uh, can get all this uh, at a cheaper rate. Okay, great. For a moment there, I thought this whole Akara thing was dead on arrival. <laughs> Why? Were you looking for an out? Excuse me? I don't know if Louis won you beforehand, but he's prone to not being able to finish what he starts. Even his mother knows that. Oh, wow, you just can't seem to let things go, huh? I'm sorry if I'm just looking out for Mei Wan. Auntie Mei Wan, be careful of this one. When she doesn't get what she wants, she takes it out on everyone around her, especially herself. Who knows, you might escape to Bangkok again. Hey. Poor Princess Ella. You must be real upset that the world hasn't laid out a red carpet for you ever since you checked out of the loony bin. Hey, enough, huh, Louise. Sorry, Auntie Mei Wan. I shouldn't have said all those horrible things to Ella. You should be sorry. She's still recovering. How can you say such things? Yeah, I was totally out of line. The two of you are used to be very close last time. That's precisely why. You see, James was always Dad's blue-eyed boy, even though he never felt that way. Ella and I, on the other hand, were misfits. And of course, in typical Derek Shelley fashion, he often pit us against each other, just for kicks. Character building, I suppose. We had some really bad fights, Ella and I. Sometimes uh, I also feel so sayang uh, that Ella cut out all the Shelleys from her life just like that. Well, it's her life, her choice, you know. But you were her brother for 20 over years. You mean to say that it's okay for you, huh? That you miss all the important moments in her life? Such as? I better go and check on my Tao So, some of you may already know, I've been volunteering at Good Faith Park Hospital. And to those of you asking me if I'm in the middle of my exams, yes, as a matter of fact, I am. But you know what? Life is all about balance, isn't it? Anyways, a special shout out to Dr. Zarif, the surgical resident at GFPH. I see you just joined my live stream. You guys, Dr. Zarif is the one who inspired me to get involved with the hospital. And who knows? I might even consider taking up medicine one day. For the person who inspired her to want to be a doctor, I don't think you were being very encouraging when you were talking to her earlier in the morning. It's a fact of life though. You need good grades to get into med school. I'm just being realistic. So I was thinking for Raya this year, would you like to visit my Ibu? Sure. And you know I could return the favour. Only if that's something you want, of course. I just figured I'd hear from you first and not Ashraf. What? He mentioned something about meeting your papa yesterday. Oh, he's such a liar. So you don't want me to meet him then? No, don't get me wrong, I do. But it's my papa who isn't keen. 
I'm sorry. I told him if you don't like Zarin, fine. But it's not fair to tie you with the same brush. It's okay. I understand. I'll respect his wishes then. The two of us just really have a way of pushing each other's buttons. We know each other so well, we grew up together. I understand. Would you say that you are a different person now from who you were last time with the Shelleys? Of course. I've definitely taken a scenic route, if you know what I mean. But I've learned so much since then. And so has Louis. After he left KSUH, he found a nice girl, decided to settle down, and now trying to do his own business. You're not the only one who can change, Ella. Maybe you should give him a chance. <clears throat> so, how long has this been going on? A couple of weeks, maybe? Yeah, that's how long you haven't been over to visit your dad, by the way. Sorry I haven't had the chance to catch up with you, especially after the whole fiasco with your mother. Oh, why well, apologize? It's not like you owe it to me or anything. And I don't need you looking out for me. I have other friends now. Friends who play mahjong and give me unsolicited life advice. And I'm assuming you're referring to... Hey, you know what? Even though they can get a bit naggy at times, at least they're real people. <laughs> like those damn Shelleys. And I was getting real tired of keeping up this act of perfect doctrine. Looks like spending some time away from office has been good. Mm. Pretty good for my mental health, but honestly, pretty bad for my wallet. It takes two, you know. I could be the nicest guy in the world to Ella, which, you know, for me, is a piece of cake, naturally. <laughs> oh, please. All she has to do is say one thing that triggers you and you'll be at each other's throats again. I've been nothing but civil to her. She's the one who can't seem to let things go. It's strange. She seemed fine when she was first discharged from the hospital. I wonder what changed. That's another thing that's been bugging me. Just now, Auntie Maywan said something cryptic about missing out on important moments in Ella's life. Mm. It just came out of the blue. It's like... Of course. I'm such an idiot. Maddie, you're a genius. Oh, what? Louis! Bye, bud. That's an easy one. You got lucky. Dr. Shen, trust me. He has got nothing to do with luck. Ten bucks says you can't do three in a row. Try. One. Last one. None. Pay up. <laughs> Double or nothing, three more. Well, I wanted to thank you for looking out for Yang and befriending him. Oh, uh, don't mention. At least this way, he can take his mind off worrying about his family and worrying about losing money instead. <laughs> hey. Did you manage to find out anything more about the kidnapping? Not yet. Why? Did Yang mention anything about it? No. Uh, but you don't go and cut tell him about it. The best thing now is for Yang to feel stable so that he and Dr. Shun can get their life back on track. You understand? Hey, you two. Enough talking. Come and join us. You know I suck at mahjong. Come on, Mary. Misery loves company. I'm probably going to regret this. Why do you think we asked you to join us? Who told you? Meiwan, Auntie Adina. I knew I couldn't trust Auntie Adina. She can't even remember things half the time. Relax, nobody told me. I just kind of figured it out, I guess. Your baggy clothing, the way you always try to adjust your clothes so that you can hide your baby bump. I don't care what you think, okay? You can judge me all you want. Ella, I'm happy for you. You are? <laughs> Look at you, you're positively glowing. Why are you so happy for me? Why not? I mean, you're the only one who's among us who's actually living life on your own terms. Thanks, Louis. And I'm sorry about earlier. I guess I was just looking out for me one. And I'm sorry for saying those awful things about your treatment. Totally out of line. I just realized something. Did you get pregnant while you were in the hospital? Who's the father? A real lady doesn't kiss and tell. 
A real lady wouldn't get knocked up without a husband. Great, you're both back. What's the matter? I think Khalid might need to have some tuition for English. I thought you were supposed to be helping him with that. Yes, but there are some technical aspects that I can't explain really well. Does he really need it? We all want the best for him, right? Oh, with his conduct disorder, it might be destructive for him to get used to the new teacher. Shira, what do you think? I don't know, Rose. Maybe it's worth looking into? I agree with Sarin. I thought we wanted Khalid to have confidence in his own learning abilities. And the idea of needing tuition goes against that. Yes, I get it. Why have you suddenly changed your mind? Most days it's hard enough to get out of work on time. After that, do we have the energy to personally tutor Khalid? That's what parenting is all about, isn't it? Making sacrifices. Zarin's got a point. What if it affects Khalid's self-confidence if he falls behind? He's only in P1, Shira. Yes, and he should be getting used to new things all the time. We can't protect him forever. Why not let him have a head start in being adaptable? My papa isn't happy that I'm not breaking fast with him at home. I didn't tell him who I'm with, but I'm sure he has a pretty good guess. Aren't you always the one telling me it's okay to say no? Everyone has their right to set their own boundaries, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And didn't I also tell you that therapists are terrible at following their own advice? That reminds me. Since I won't be able to see your papa, can you pass him this? There's actually a story behind this. When we were young, my Ibu used to sell kuih tarts for extra income. The thing is, she would force us to help her make them. It was her way of making us earn all the money we were going to get from our relatives. So you made these? That would have been a better story, huh? I like to support home bakers who are selling goodies for extra income, like my Ibu did. That's nice. It's like your own tradition. My family never had anything like that, especially not Shira. She's always doing her own thing. Who knows? Maybe it would be nice to start our own tradition that we can pass down to our kids. Our kids? We're saying our kids now? Uh, it was a slip of the tongue. No, I don't think so. I think you meant our kids. And for the record, I like the idea of starting our own tradition too. It's meaningful. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I know what you're thinking. Maddie and I are nuts for marrying each other and treating our marriage like some sort of corporate merger. That's kind of the Shelley way, isn't it? Anyway, you both know what you really want and you're going for it. I respect that. Well, if only everyone is as enlightened as you are. By the way, please don't tell anyone in your family about my baby, okay? It's something I'd rather keep a secret for now. What's this I hear about secrets? Louis, Shelley, I thought we agreed we'd have no secrets between us. <laughs> No, oh, no, I'm just kidding. What the hell? I'm pregnant, but I don't want the Shelleys to know about it. <gasps> You're pregnant? Oh, don't worry, my dear. Your secret is safe with me. The less those pesky Shelleys know, the better. Especially his mother. You're here. <laughs> Thanks for backing me up on this tuition thing for Khalid. For a minute, I was wondering if you forgot our agreement. I knew you couldn't keep up this model father act for long. Anything else you want to outsource? I just want what's best for Khalid Shira. Surely you understand that. And I know I'm not the best person to teach him because I can't. Shockingly humble of you. Unfortunately though, I can't afford to pay for a private tutor. So, good thing you can. Don't push your luck. Unless you think Rose would be interested to know about your little chat with Haris. Uh, so you told him, ah, good, 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 come. So uh, Adam uh, can help Ella. As in Dr. Adam? Uh, oh, uh, Ella didn't tell you he's the father. Well, I'm very happy you guys managed to work things out. We have, 
Thank you. New beginnings, me and my baby, you and your okra business. Oh, which reminds me, Auntie Mayuan, I'm thinking of renting a central kitchen. Uh -huh. Renting is very expensive. But we need to future-proof our production capacity. There's only so much Chia Dina can do from a home kitchen. True also. Anyway, I've got a short list. I'll go check them out. No, no, no. Let me go. Adina and I will know what to look out for. Only if it's not too much trouble for the both of you. I don't want you to outstretch yourself and tire yourself out. Hey, you don't make me sound like I'm very old, okay? I don't want tuition. We can just give it a try. Just now, you were asking me why this, why that. A tutor can answer your questions. And you want to learn, don't you? You want to do well? You told me all your other classmates have tuition too, right? Yeah. At least now you'll be the same as them. Hey. Uh, can you promise me that you won't screw up this everyday soy? I don't intend to. No, seriously, this is important to me, Wan. Relax. I won't bail and leave her high and dry. Look, I know I don't have the best track record, but... I believe you, Louis. You really have changed and, and for the better. Seeing you and Maddie just now, you guys seem really good for each other. And I'm happy for you. Honestly, bidding good riddance to the cesspool that is KSUH was probably the best thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> for me, it's bidding good riddance to that cesspool of a family. Ouch. <laughs> Don't worry, Louis Shelley. You're just a Shelley in name. Nothing more. That's the nicest thing anyone has ever said to me in a long time. You're late. I'm on time. If I have to wait, means you're late. <laughs> you win. Where's Uncle Wilson? That fella. <laughs> he went out to ride his bicycle. In his tight shorts. Ayo. I cannot look at him. Ah. How come an old man like him? Ah? Not malu to wear this kind of thing. <laughs> you should give it a try. Might make you look younger. You're making fun of me? Would I dare? <laughs> anyway, got this hat off way. Ayo, so heaty. You say that every time I buy it, and then you wallop the whole thing. Cannot waste food, what? 